Hey everyone, today I am at the Lehigh Gap again and I am going to try to do the trail that I intended to do a couple weeks ago. Um, and I think I know how to get there now. So I'm going to cross over this bridge and then I believe I hook up with the Appalachian Trail somewhere over here and go straight up that mountain. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we're going to make it. So I'm crossing over this bridge and then I believe I'll be able to hook onto the Appalachian Trail, which will take me straight up that mountain. All right, let's see, Appalachian Trail North, walk to light, cross, and return 150 feet. I can see the Appalachian Trail over there. This is just a strange place to have to cross. All right, so I made it across. Um, I'm thinking there's gotta be a better way to get onto this trail though. I think there is a parking area on this side as well, but that was, as you can see, kind of a dangerous place to cross. So I'm hoping to find another marker because I believe that what, what I want to do is I'm going to take the Appalachian Trail straight up to the top and then there's a blue trail I don't remember the name of it but there's a blue trail that hopefully will take me right back to where I started but I guess we are going to find out always an adventure all right very cool ah well there you go there's the parking area right there. <laughs> what I need to do, well, not what I need to do, what I should have done <laughs> is research where to park a little bit better. All right, we are on our way. As I look straight up, that is quite daunting. Okay, this is definitely where I want to be. So, that way Palmerton and that way the Winter Trail, which I believe the Winter Trail is what I'm going to take on the way down. This is a cool trail. steps in here Ugh. and I'm sure I will be breathing heavy on this little hike so it's like pine trees here which is kind of cool not what I'm used to seeing in Pennsylvania If a workout is what you're looking for, this is it. So I was a little apprehensive about coming here today because I've been down and out for about a week and a half. Um, I was sick. I'm kind of thinking it was probably the flu. I never did go to the doctor. But I only started feeling better a couple days ago. But in a lot of ways, I feel just laying, laying around all the time, resting, thinking you're going to get better that way. I have to kind of get out and get some fresh air. Obviously, you don't want to do that too soon, but after I start feeling a little bit better, 
or pretty close to 100%. I want to get out. As we are going to keep going up, my friends. Nice look at the Lehigh River. And that over there is the bridge that I walked across. So you're gonna think I'm crazy, but already <laughs> I went off trail. I think I switched to blue trail. <laughs> God, I really need help with following blazes. So I backtracked and I think the mistake I made is I headed this way because it just looks like that's the way you're supposed to head, but I see white blazes up here. So again, the experience I was looking for was to hike straight up the Appalachian Trail. So anyway, I backtracked and I am back on the Appalachian Trail. And let's see how long I can stay on it. And I thought that other trail was rough. This is just going to go straight up. My legs will be burning tonight. But that's a good thing. Yeah, a lot of heavy breathing on this hike. I don't believe it's a long hike though. I think it's only maybe like a mile and a half. So, we can do that, right? And obviously this is well marked. I think the problem I have is I tend to be a daydreamer. Oh. And I start doing a lot of thinking and I kind of go off into my own world. Before you know it, I am off trail. So I'm gonna try to stay focused. But we are gonna see some phenomenal views when we get to the top. So far, I find myself on this trail by myself. All right, now pay attention, Jen. <laughs> this blaze goes off to the right. Had I not been paying attention, I would have assumed it went that way. On a strenuous hike like this, I don't want to have to do any backtracking. I kind of just want to bang it out and say that I did it. Now we're getting really rocky. <sighs> This is where it gets fun. So I have to keep an eye out for white blazes here as well, as I see them. I was a little worried coming up here because it was cold last night, thinking there might be ice on the rocks. But thankfully, that is not the case. Really have to pay attention to these blazes. Because you really don't see a trail at all. I was watching a guy on YouTube the other day who ran this trail. Oh my God. And he was running fast. First of all, to me, that's dangerous because I've tripped on rocky trails before, but at the same time, incredibly impressive. Now I believe we're getting to the really interesting part. Look straight up there. Oh my God. 
Am I sure I'm ready for this? I don't know. What's the worst that happens? I get halfway up there and I say, I'm done, and I come back down. The beauty is in the attempt. There's a lot of truth to that. With so many things in life, it's really a matter of just getting started, taking that first step. So many people have a problem with that, myself included at times. But I usually snap out of it and challenge myself with something. Okay, so. There's the white blaze. As we keep moving forward, we are getting up pretty high. Somebody left their jacket here, which it's getting warm. I'm ready to take one of these jackets off as well. Again, no ice on these rocks, which is good. Because I could see how it would be dangerous if there was. So I have hiking boots, but I tend to wear sneakers the majority of the time. Sort of like trail running shoes. Oh my God, look at that. That is beautiful. So my battery just died, just switched out my battery. My main issue with GoPro is these batteries do not last long. So I forget what I was talking about. I think I was talking about the fact that I was sick and I'm, I'm not sure what I was saying. I guess it really isn't that important. <laughs> All right, wow, this is kind of cool. So this is where it gets really interesting. Ah. As we climb through this, I actually enjoy this stuff. I guess you call this rock scrambling, but it is absolutely pretty cool. Whoa, look at that. Amazing. As we continue to go up. I'm thinking we're gonna go all the way up there, so. We're probably about halfway. Just stopping every once in a while to take a look. It's amazing. because my sister just called me and she was checking on me because she heard I was sick and she thought I was home in bed <laughs> when I told her I was out here she almost flipped so I promised her I would call her when I finish onward and upward Camera work is probably going to be a little shoddy now. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> uh. Yeah, we are getting there. Uh. All right, there's another blaze. I gotta keep climbing. Uh. Wow, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna put the camera down. 
Look at this view, people. Oh my God. So we did the hard work and we get rewarded with this. So I'm pretty close to the top. I think we still have a little bit of ways to go. I can't imagine the view is going to be much better than that, but I guess we're going to find out. Uh, I'm trying to put my feet in the right spot. Check this out. Beautiful. Doesn't get much more beautiful than this. Now I believe, I don't believe, I see the white blaze there. So I think I'm up as high as I'm gonna get on the Appalachian Trail. I don't know if you're supposed to go up there. I don't know if I want to. Um, I know there's a kind of iconic American flag painted on one of the rocks up here. I'd like to find that. I'm thinking that might be on the other side. But I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Let's head over that way. Okay, so we are on the other side of that ridge now. And it appears as if we're sort of going back up. So we may actually get an even better view. How cool would that be? Uh, hopefully my camera's not bouncing all over the place as I do this. Try to keep it going as much as possible so everyone can have any experience. Ah, check out the airplane. <laughs> search and rescue. <laughs> hopefully not for me. Maybe my sister called uh, search and rescue. <laughs> it's a cool rock up there on the top. I'm moving pretty good on this part. I'm not so bad on rocks. I get a little iffy with heights sometimes, but I wouldn't really say I have a fear of heights like some people do. You know what? I am going to go up there because I think that is probably the absolute top of this mountain. can't do all this work without getting to the summit, right? Oh. So there it is. We are at the top. Oh my God. Okay, let's get back on the Appalachian Trail, uh, which I think is going to take us over that direction. Be careful climbing back down. Often going down is more dangerous than coming up. I'm actually looking forward to getting on that blue trail. As much as this is enjoyable, which it is, I'm kind of tired of rocks. <laughs> if you don't like rocks, this is not the trail for you. Okay, so I think we go this way. So now I just got onto this trail, so maybe we're off the rock pile for a while. But we are still going up. So over there is Palmerton. And Palmerton at one time was the home to the largest zinc plant in the world. And from what I've read, um, the whole area was polluted at one time. So the water 
I don't believe the water. I believe the water is still not safe around here. So I think they tell AT hikers um, when you get through this portion of the trail to bring your own water. Um, even filtering it from the creeks around here is probably not safe. Uh, so now it seems like we're off the rocks again. Oh, awesome. <laughs> winter trail. Oh. So we made it to the winter trail which is the Blue Blaze, which I'm gonna do that. And it rejoins the AT in 1.3 miles. So, I think this is gonna go flat or down the whole way. <laughs> At least I hope so. I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm whooped. Um, and I didn't expect to get this tired. I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that I was sick, but it is. It is a tough trail. So this trail is uh, nice. <laughs> Making a lot better time on the way down. I see somebody. Whoa. And that, my friends, is the first person I've seen on the trail so far. I didn't see anybody on the Appalachian portion of the trail. Yeah, this is great. We got a lot of steps and you get a little area. You can just kind of do a little trail run and you come upon a few more steps. And I'm thinking this is probably getting boring for the viewer. So I think I'm going to end my video here. Thank you so much for, um, for joining me on this adventure. And if you could, please give it a like. And if you could subscribe, that would be just awesome. And thanks so much and have a great day. Take care.